everybody. Good Thursday morning. It is March the 4th, 2021, in the, year, in the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and the title is A Life Pleasing to God. And this is what the Word of God has to say. Finally then, brethren, finally then, brothers, sorry, brothers, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God, just as you are doing, so that so that you do some more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor. Not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that, that no one transgress and wrong his brother in this matter. Because the Lord is, a, is, a, is an avenger in all these things, as we told you beforehand and some solemnly warned you, for God has not called us for, Im, for, impure, for impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this disregards not man, but God, who gave, who gives his Holy Spirit to you. Now, concerning brotherly, brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another, for that deed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more, and to aspire to live quietly, and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we, as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. But we do not want, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as those who do that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. But since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. But the Lord himself, but to send from heaven with the cry of cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Amen and amen. I love that. First of all, let's just talk about a little bit here in chapter four, or yeah, chapter four, first part, verses one through twelve. Live a life pleasing to God. Live a life pleasing to God that is glorifying Him and giving Him the honor and credit due His name. And I'll even read in First Corinthians ten thirty one, one of my favorite scriptures. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 10.31 says this, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Everything you do, do to, do God, do to the glory of God and live a life pleasing to God. Now the second part, 13 through 18, the rest of the chapter, talks about a rapture. You say the rapture isn't going to happen. It's not mentioned, mentioned in the Bible. It is right there. I'll read it again. Verse 16 and 17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the, with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Let's stop right there. For all, the, for all the people who have lost loved ones last year during the COVID virus and before, if they were saved, they died first. And their bodies 
whether they were in the casket or they were cremated, they will get to rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, that's us, who are still here on this earth, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so will we always be with the Lord. That means, after the dead in Christ rise first, we who are alive and well on this earth, all the believers in the world, who are God's children, myself included, when that, when that happens, we will be gone in the twinkling of an eye. You see, Travis, what is a twinkle? Blink and I'll show you. You're too slow. They found out that, that the word twinkle means means that means this. It is so minute that you cannot discern it with your human eye. But, uh, or or put, put put in another way, if you by the time by the time you open and close your eyes in the normal blink, it'll be silent in the room. You will turn and the vast majority of the people that you know will be gone. And then what about you? Are you saved? I hope that you are saved. Get saved today. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, into your life as your Lord and Savior. He will fully transform your life. Guys, that's what I wanted to say today in, the, in today's word. Guys, have a blessed, blessed sun, sun, Thursday. You know what to do. Watch, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell twice to get notified of, of all that I post. Have a blessed day, everybody. God bless. Remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.